skyrocketing gas and energy prices, high inflation in all sectors, and stagnant salaries throughout the pandemic have drawn people around Brussels to protest and call for action. Workers in Belgium have raised several complaints due to the rising cost of living, especially in time for this winter. It's concerning to a large extent energy prices, um, but also many other uh, commodities are concerned, nutrition, rents um, and also others. Um, there's been inflation across the board, uh, but uh, as I said, especially energy is an issue which is affecting uh, the purchasing power of increasing numbers of workers. Um, not only um, in the lower income um, classes, uh, but also in the uh, even the medium income classes. The minimum wage directive adopted in Parliament on the 14th of September is being negotiated at European level as countries come to their conclusions about how to implement the legislation. There's a two-year transposition phase where members have to incorporate the provisions into the national law. Uh, this is running until 2024. Um, so there's still some, some road ahead to cover um, before we will actually see the um, concrete effects that this directive will bring. Um, so the directive will not bring any solutions for uh, workers uh, today or tomorrow. Um, it's more a matter of uh, years from now. Um, it does not substitute uh, for the um, rise in inflation that we see during these months. With winter fast approaching, many workers face the consequences of the rising prices, now deciding when and whether to turn on or off the heating during the colder months. There is still good temperatures outside, so I mean, maybe we don't need to put uh, the, the heating system yet on, but uh, yeah, once we are going to do it, let's see. And um, yeah, I would say that we need some accountability from this electricity companies you, and the, the you, gas companies that um, definitely are increasing their profits and benefits without being held accountable. Amid Brussels protests and rising inflation, it will be interesting to see how the directive is implemented. Will the minimum wage be increased, helping to alleviate the struggle of workers? Or will it be another piece of legislation that poses an obstacle to workers and their dialogue with employers?